What is going on guys, 2.0 here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what Lord Saladin has brought for us for this Iron Banner event. So if we take a look at what he's got in his inventory, we can see we have the class items, so as a Mama Hunter we have the cloaks, we have the leg armors, and then for the weapons we have the rocket launcher as well as the auto rifle. So starting with the class items, we have the wolf's hood cloak for the hunters, 26 intellect and 28 discipline and the upgrades on these increase event standing gained in the iron banner increase the upgrade rate for hand cannons and then increased your crucible reputation gains this can be bought at iron banner rank 3 for 40 legendary marks and then the exact same stats on the playstation exclusive class item as well uh, so yeah again pick it up at rank 3 for your 40 legendary marks then also at rank 3 for 40 legendary marks we have the leg armors so the iron companion boots 60 intellect and then 59 discipline and the upgrades on these increase the amount of shotgun armor you can carry and then increased agility for 5 seconds after solar double kills. We then have the iron banner rocket launcher which is at void attack. And the upgrades, rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. And then the launcher's tube can hold three shells. So those are actually really nice upgrades to get on a Crucible rocket launcher. And so I am definitely going to be picking this up. You can get it at rank 4 in the Iron Banner for 90 legendary marks. And then lastly, the Hacken's Hatchet Auto Rifle. The upgrades on this, aiming the weapon increases its effective range. And then the weapon has increased stability. Very nice upgrades on that. I actually have this exact auto rifle. I did actually buy this weapon from Lord Saladin when he brought it for the very first time and I absolutely love it I use it a lot in Crucible it's probably my most used primary weapon and again it is 90 legendary marks and iron banner rank 5 so then we have the usual emblems as well as shaders and then the weekly bounties uh, iron gauntlet you need to get a 10 kill streak five double kills the top overall score and then reach iron banner rank four we then have iron marathon you need to complete 13 iron banner matches and win seven we then have iron versatility you need to get 50 primary kills 25 special kills and then seven heavy kills we have the daily ones iron light you need to defeat 15 opposing guardians using any ability that's your melee your grenade and your supers Heavy Iron, defeat three opposing guardians with a heavy weapon. And then Iron Domination, complete an Iron Banner match with a score of at least 1,500. So I've actually already completed the daily bounties, although I haven't leveled up my Iron Banner at all. And that's because I took the bounties from last time the Iron Banner rolled around and I kept them in my inventory. So I can just turn all of these in. Uh, we have a couple that I didn't get around to completing, but I've got all of those complete and we've just turned them in and we are now pretty much rank one and a half in the iron banner already so i'm going to go ahead and pick the weekly ones up and i'm going to go and grind some iron banner for this week i'm going to try and get all three of my characters up to rank five to see what kind of loot we get and i'll definitely be bringing out a video showing you guys all of the brand new stuff that we get but that's going to bring us to the end of this video guys let me know down below in the comments what you think of the loot that lord saladin has brought for this iron banner event but if you could leave a like on the video i'd really appreciate the support Subscribe if you're new around here as don't load daily Destiny videos. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.